you welcome to All Line Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. And in today's video, we have a challenge on Bieri. And the question says, an aeroplane flies from a turn X on a bearing of 45 degrees northeast to another turn Y, a distance of 200 kilometers. It then changes course and flies to another town, Z, on a bearing of 60 degrees southeast. If Z is directly east of X, calculate correct to three significant figures. A, the distance from X to Z. B, the distance from Y to X, Z. How do we tackle this? So we take solution. So the first thing we do here is to sketch our diagram. And once we can get the perfect diagram, then the survey is made easy. So we take the first sentence, which says, an aeroplane flies from a tan X on a bearing of 45 degrees northeast. So from here, we proceed. We start our diagram. Let's take the tan X as the starting point. So if we have it, so if this is tan x, you introduce your cardinal point. This is your four cardinal point for tan x, and the play begin or starts from here on the bearing 45 degree northeast. This is your north. This is your east. So. And from year to year is 90 degree. From year to year is another 90 degree. So 45 will be directly at the middle. Okay? That will be at the middle. Okay. So getting to this turn, turn Y. This is turn Y. Here we have our 45 degree. 45 degree and the distance it cover is 200 kilometer so it covered 200 kilometer now we take the next sentence so it say it then changes curse and flies to another time z on a bearing of 60 degrees southeast this is where the plane x so it changes course and flew to another town southeast. Look at the direction of your southeast here. So we are to take 60 degree starting from the south to the east world. So half of this place is 60, 45 degree rather. Half of this quadrant here is 45 degree. But we're looking at 60 degree. So automatically it's going to be above the half line. So it will be somewhere here. All right. Now we go again because where this leg will stop, we don't know. So we now go back to the question. It say if Z is directly east of X, tan Z is the third turn. Then they are not saying that if Z is directly east of X, look at tan X. This is the east of tan X. So we are to extend this line because they said it's directly. So we are to extend this line to meet with this other line. Get it here, you also introduce your four cardinal point. Because in BRE, you must introduce your four cardinal point. This is the first one, this is the second cardinal point, and this is the third one. And this is tan Z. Now we now have our triangle. So the question is made easy. So, but we have to bring in some values. The angles inside the triangle, let's try to bring them out. If from here to this leg is 90 degrees, and we've taken 45 out, so automatically the angle we have here is 45 degrees. Now take a look at this again. Here we are having a vertical line. And here we are also having a vertical line. And there is a transversal. 
So the angle on this side will be alternate to the angle on this other side. Hence, the angle we have in here is going to give us 45 degree from this 45 degree. Now, if you look at the second part of the question, 65 degrees southeast is the leg for this third, for the second leg. So this will now give us here 60 degree. That means the whole of this angle here will now be 45 plus 60 degree. That will give us 105 degree. All right. Then, we now come to this other side now. Let's try to get this angle here. How do we now get this angle? It's very simple. It's by adding 45 to 105. And 45 plus 105 gives us 150. So, according to the sum of angle in a triangle, if you subtract 150 from 180, this will give us 30 degree. All right. Now that we have our diagram in place, what is the first question? The first question says, find or calculate, correct to three significant figures, the distance from X to Z. Look at tan X and look at tan Z. So what is the distance between X and X? So this is your main angle Y. So the side that is facing angle Y is a small letter Y. This is a small letter Y. And this is a small letter Z. And this is a small letter X. So now that we've done this, what do we do? We now begin to look at the paths that are given. This side is given and the angle facing it is also given. This is where we are looking for. The angle facing it is also given. Now, we have two major formulas to apply in BRE. We have the cosine formula and we have the sine formula. But from this question, we cannot use the cosine formula. So, we're going to use the sine rule, which is the sine formula to solve this. Now, with the lettering, so we are going to take this side, which is our y. So, this gives us x z all over sine the angle facing the whole of this direction is this y which is sine capital y equal to we take this one that the angle is giving and the side is also giving so this side of it is x y so this gives us line x y all over sine z correct so now that we have this we can now impute their figures what is x z our x z is what we are looking for which is y so we now replace it with y all over sine what is angle y look at our angle y is 105 degree equal to xz. Where is our xz? Look at the side xz. It has a value which is 200 all over angle z is 30 degrees. So we have here 30. Sorry, we have here. So we have here sine 30 degree. Good. So, if you look at this expression, it is only this y that is giving problem and that is what we are looking for. So, we'll make y the subject of the formula by cross-multiplying. So, if you make y the subject of the formula, this will give us y is equal to 200 sine 105 degree all over sine 30 degree. All right, so let's find the value. So give us here y equal to 200 times what is sine 105. So we have sine 105 will give us 0 
9, 6, 5, 9, okay, then all over, we look for sine 30, so we put sine 30 degree, this gives us 0 0.5, so if you multiply up, so we're going to have 200 times point. Nine six five nine that gives us one hundred and ninety three point one eight all over zero point five. When you divide down this, we give us one nine three the point one eight divided by zero point five. This gives us three. 86.36 kilometer. All right. But the question says, it said, calculate to three significant figures. So we count the first three digits. One, two, three. The next one is not up to five. So we round it down. So automatically, automatically, this will give us, therefore, y is equal to 386 kilometer so that is the distance now let's look at the other part of the question which says the distance from y to xz distance from y to x6 so if you look at this carefully if you look at this carefully if you look at this carefully look at y to xz so we have to draw a vertical line down here. We can give this point here capital M. Let's give it the midpoint. And this meets with this line at 90 degrees. So now that we have this, what is the height here? So let's give it H. Let's label it h which is the distance between your y and x z now taking a good look at this you consider this triangle now x y m so i can say here considering considering triangle x y m x y m x y m how do we get this so let me skip, bring this triangle out this will give us so here we have x here we have y and here we have m here we have 90 degree and here we have 45 degree now, taking a good look at this, this is what we're looking for. H is what we're looking for. Okay? So, from here, on this side, we have 200 kilometers. The only relationship or the formula we can use in solving this, we cast our mind back to what is called Sokatwa. If you recall, Sokatwa. Sokatwa. So from Sokatwa, we are taking the first one. And the first one says sine theta equal to opposite all of our hypotenuse. This is our hypotenuse. This is our opposite. This is our theta. So the one we're looking for and the other two parameters are given. Then the one we are looking for is unknown. So we can impute that. So using the formula sine theta equal to opposite all of our hypotenuse. So our theta is 45, so this gives us sine 45 degree equals to, the opposite is H, which is what we're looking for, all of our, the hypotenuse is 200. This is all of our invisible one. So from here, if we make H the subject of the formula, H will now be 200 sine 45 degree.
So we have this to be 200 times, what is sine 45 degree? Let's quickly look at our calculator. So we have sine 45 degree is 0 0.071. So we have 0 0.7071. So let's multiply that by 200 and see what it gives us. So we have 200 times 0.7071 that gives us this is 141.42 so this is our h to three significant figure we give us therefore h which is equal to the distance y to x is one foot one kilometer all right so yeah this is answer to a and this is answer to b so the most important thing is for you to get your diagram and once you got the diagram then you are good to go so this is online mass tv if you are gaining value from our solving kindly drop it in the comment section by giving us a thumbs up or say thanks jay okay that if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe so that YouTube will notify you whenever we drop wonderful videos anytime, any day. Thank you for being there.